God bless everyone. How is everybody doing? Lillian, God bless you. God bless everyone. God bless you all. We bless you, Jesus. Atoya, God bless you. God bless you, Emilia. God bless you, Esther. God bless everybody. Que vrana nos avacuja. Odelia, God bless you. Angel Adam, God bless you. Rita, God bless you. God bless everyone. Rose, how are you doing? Sandra, God bless you. Agnes, how are you doing? God bless you. Danny Loba, is it, I don't know how I pronounce it very well. So, in the name of Jesus. I want everybody to share, share in the name of Jesus. How is everyone doing? Who are those that are fasting? I want to see those that are fasting. If you are fasting, I want you, I want you to indicate that you are fasting. If you want, if you are fasting, I want you to indicate. Those of you that are still fasting, I want to see because today is day 17, right? I think we have about four days more. We have, we are done. Cynthia, God bless you. Is it Aze, Aza, Cynthia? Akon, God bless you. So everyone, God bless you. Justina Israel, God bless you. Who are those that are fasting? If you are fasting, I want to see you. I want to. I want you to indicate. I only see few people that are indicating. If you are fasting, I want you to indicate. In the name of Jesus, Father, we thank you. Everyone, God bless you. Sister Gia, God bless you. How are you doing? So, everyone, I want you to share, invite someone. Today, I'm going to be talking about the essential or the necessity of the spirit we put it anyway essential and necessity is the same almost the same thing the necessity of the spirit you can even ask or put the need of the spirit so that's what i'm going to be talking about today the essential or essential of the spirit of the spirit essential of the spirit the need of the spirit the need of the spirit that's what i'm going to be talking about today 
God bless you, sir. Ruben is singular. God bless you. That's my uncle. God bless you. It's a privilege for us to have you. So today I'm going to be talking about the necessity. Why we need the spirit. Why we need the spirit. Why we need the spirit. That's what I'm going to be talking about today. That's what the Lord has asked me to talk about today. So it's very important. It's very important for us to know. I want everybody, those who are joining, share, invite someone. I miss you people. I miss you people. Can is it can me share green? God bless you. God bless everyone. Brian, how are you doing? Brian, God say he has a package for you. I just heard that right now. The Lord say he has a package for you. Stay focused. So, in the name of Jesus. So, everybody, those of you that are, what do you think that why we need the Spirit of God? Some of you, why do you think that we are, we are, we are so, there must be, there must be something tangible between us with the Spirit of God. It's very important. It's very important because we will see some scriptures that we, the Bible is going to reflect to us or the Bible we are going to see in the Bible based on the Spirit of God or based on the result that the Spirit of God caused. So many of us are Christian, we fail to understand that what you don't know about, it will not profit you. Whatever you don't know, it will not profit you anything it's like about knowledge as well if you are if you are blank you will see destruction if you, you are full of knowledge you are you, you have direction a lot of people uh where they are is based on the knowledge that they possess so in the same way as well god bless everyone that is joining let us first of all pray in the name of jesus Father, we thank you for the privilege that you have caused us once more to gather before your feet this evening, O oh God. Your word declares in the book of Matthew 18, verse 20, you say, For where two or three are gathered in your name, for where you are, O oh God. We know as we have gathered this evening, O oh God, for we know your spirit and your presence is with us, O oh God. Father, we decree and we declare, O oh God, that everything, O oh God, that we will learn. We are going to learn from this sermon, O oh God. Father, we pray, may it strengthen our walking with you, O oh God. May it cause our faith, O oh God, and our expectation, our zeal for walking with you to boast like never before, O oh God. Father, I decree and I declare, O oh Jesus, all those that have been ignorant of your spirit, O oh Jesus, I decree and I declare by the power of the Holy Ghost, as we are connected to you, O oh God, let there be an outpouring of your spirit upon all flesh, O God. As you declare in the book of Joel chapter 2, you said in the last days you shall pour out your spirit. Father, this evening, O God, I pray, O God, let there be an outpouring of your spirit upon your people. In the name of Jesus, I decree and I declare by the spirit of the living God. Father, I commit my soul, I commit my spirit, O God. Use me as a vessel to be a blessing to your people as I preach to them, O oh God. Let your word bring conviction upon their hearts, O oh God. Those that have been led astray, O oh God. Father, may you touch them, O oh God. May you bring them to the point for them to do that which pleases you, O oh God. Father, we decree and we declare in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we have prayed with thanksgiving. Amen. Father, we thank you. Holy Spirit, we acknowledge you. We bless you, O oh God. I feel the anointing. I feel the glory of God in the name of Jesus. I want everyone as you are joining, I want you to share. So I'm going to be showing you some. I will show you some few points why you must understand your relationship with God. Why the Spirit of God plays a big role in your relationship with God. Many of us, we can't please God because we have not understood that without the Spirit of God, we can't please God. Many of us, we have not understood that without the Spirit of God, we cannot please God. There are a lot of things. Today, the Lord just laid in my heart for me to share this. 
I don't know if some of you have ever talked about this, but today I'm going to be sharing about why we need the Spirit or the importance of the Spirit of God. I put the importance of the Spirit. So I'm going to be giving you some some scriptures, please. Some of you can write down these scriptures. I'll be giving scriptures and I'll be giving points why you need the Spirit of God or why do you have to understand that without the Spirit, there is there are some certain things that cannot happen in your life. No matter how God is powerful, but without we honoring the Spirit of God, God cannot retaliate or God cannot respond to some certain things in our life. So I want everybody, let's go to the book of, in the book of John. John 16, I'll show you something there. When I was reading this scripture, I saw something that I want to share with you as well. John chapter 16. God bless everyone. I wish we, after John chapter 16, we'll go to the book of Exodus. In the name of Jesus. I want everybody to share the video. God bless you. God bless you. God bless everyone. John chapter 16 verse 13. I'll read it here. It's a scripture that many of us will know about it. Let us go to the verse the verse 12. It says, I still have many things to say to you, but you cannot bear them now. This is Jesus speaking to them. It says, when the spirit of truth comes, he will guide you into all the truth. For he will not speak on his own authority, but whatever he hears, he will speak, and he will declare to you the things that are to come. In the name of Jesus. Let us go to the book of Exodus chapter 8, verse 6. Exodus chapter 8, verse 6. Someone says, my first time watching from you. God bless you. The book of Exodus chapter 8, verse 6. I want to show something there. In the name of Jesus. Okay. The book of Exodus chapter 8 verse 6. Let us go back to. Let us go back to Exodus chapter 8. Let's go beyond. Not 8. Let's go to verse verse 5. I want to show you something. And the Bible says. And the Lord said to Moses. Say to Aaron. Stretch out your hand. With your staff. Over the river. Over the canal. And over the poles. And make frog to come up. On the land of Egypt and it says so Aaron stretched out his hand over the, the water of Egypt and frog came up and covered the land of Egypt the verse 7 and the Bible says but the Egyptian did the same the same by the sacred act and made frog came came up on the land of Egypt Okay, the verse 9, the verse 8, it says, Then Pharaoh called Moses and Aaron and said, Plead with the Lord to take away the frogs for me and for my people, and I will let the people go to sacrifice to the Lord. So one of the first things that you will see with all the scriptures that we have just read, the first thing that you understand that why you and I will need the Spirit of God is that the Spirit of God is that which legalizes the activities of God on earth. The Spirit of God is responsible for legalizing the activities of God on earth. Anything that is done without the Spirit of God is illegal in the presence of God. The Bible says the thing that God instructed Aaron and Moses to do, the Egyptians they did the same thing. But it was not legalized because it was not the Spirit of God that was responsible for the result that they produce. So you must understand that without the Spirit of God, anything that you do is illegal before God. So the Spirit of God is that which legalizes the activities of God on earth. Anything that is done without the Spirit of God is illegal before God. The Bible says in the book of John 16 that we read, it says when the spirit of truth comes, he will declare to you, it is talking about legalizing the things of God. If you get married that is not by the spirit of God, anything, if you get a job that is not by the spirit of God, it is illegal before God. So you must understand that without the spirit of God, anything that you do in your life is illegal before God. 
So you see that the Egyptians they produced the same result that God asked Aaron and Moses to do, but it was illegal because it was not the spirit of God that empowered or that produced that result. So many of us at times we get things that we 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 produce certain results in our life not based by the spirit. Any result that is not by the spirit of God is illegal. So that's why you see that at times a lot of people they have jobs, a lot of people that go into marriage, a lot of people they have opportunities, but their opportunity does not last because of what? The spirit of God was not responsible for the result that they produce. Any result that is produced not by the spirit, it is illegal before God. So that is why you see that a lot of Christians, they are a lot of Christians or a lot of people, the result that they produce, it does not last because it was illegal. If you are doing anything that is not supported by God, it will not last. So you see that the Egyptian, they did the same thing, but it was illegal. Just because someone got something, it does not mean it pleased God. One of the things I want everyone to know is that is it if oh my god bless you today is a birthday people should wish a happy birthday so one of the things i want everyone to know from this scripture is that anything that has not been empowered by the spirit of god it is illegal before god it is illegal before god it is the spirit of god that is responsible for the activities of god on earth if you are getting what you are getting or your, your life that you are living, it is not empowered by the Spirit of God. It is illegal before God. This is one of the things you will see that native doctors, they come in in the scene. Anything that you, are, you achieve it through native doctors, it is illegal. I want to tell you something. If you are going to enjoy the things that you, you have or the things that you want, you must you must acquire them through the knowledge of the Spirit of God. The Spirit of God, the Bible has made us to understand that it is that which is responsible. It is that which it is responsible for the activities of God. Many of us, we have achieved things that the Spirit of God did not empower. The Spirit of God was not responsible for it. That is why we see, we see that the things that we got, it did not last. Anything that you acquire or anything that you achieve, that the Spirit of God was not the founder, the Spirit of God was not the establisher of it, it would not last. So you see that the Egyptian they did the same thing, but it could not, it could not bring result on what they wanted. So you see, one thing I want you to understand is that needing the Spirit of God, you must know the role that the Spirit of God plays in your lives. Or in our lives because you might carry the Spirit of God and you don't know how to work with the Spirit of God for you to produce the result that you are in need of one of the things you must know as a child of God is that the Spirit of God is that which legalize the activities of God on earth anything that is done not by the Spirit of God it is illegal before God some of you, you have gone to such places or there are, there, there are things that you have done not based by the Spirit. You were, not, you were not influenced by the Spirit. And that is why the results that you are producing, it is not genuine results. The Egyptians, they produced what Moses did. Moses and Aaron, they, they call out frogs from the sea. From the, from, the, from the river. But it came a point of time that they could not sustain their results many of us will do things not based by the spirit that is why we see that in due time we begin to cry because it was not by god anything that the spirit of god did not empower it is illegal before god i pray that it shall not be your portion that everything that you are going to do it is going to be established by the spirit of god I decree and I declare by the power of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus. I want to show you something. We'll pray for people, but I want you people to understand what I'm saying in the name of Jesus. The second, let's go to the book of Luke. Luke chapter 3. Luke chapter 3 in the name of Jesus. Luke chapter 3. Luke chapter 3. Everybody, please, let's do this quickly. I, we, are, we are going to pray for people, but I want to show you people some things, please. 
in the name of Jesus. Luke chapter 3. Luke chapter 3. I'll read. Let's read from verse 22. Just verse 22 and verse 23. And the Bible says, And the Holy Spirit descended on him in bodily form like a dove, and a voice came from heaven, You are my beloved son. With you I am well pleased. Luke chapter 3 verse 22 to 23. So you see, let's go down to verse 23. And the Bible says, Jesus, when he began his ministry, was about 30 years of age, being the son of as was supposed of Joseph, the son of Heli, Heli, Heli. So one of the things also you have to understand is that, hey, my Bible fell down. So one of the things also you have to understand is that it is the Spirit of God that is responsible for activation of the blessings of God in your life. Some might say it is the Spirit of God responsible for my blessing. If the Spirit, God can declare a blessing in your life, but it cannot manifest if the Spirit of God has not approved it. God can say you are blessed, but you can never see that blessing if the Spirit of God has not approved it. When I talk about approval, I'm talking about activation. Many of you, you are working with the blessings of God. Many of you, you are working with opportunities. Many of you, you are, you, you are talented, but you are unable to see those things because of what? The Spirit has not activated that which God has placed inside of you. Until you come to understand that without the Spirit of God, you cannot experience the blessings of God. Your life will remain the same way. The Bible says Jesus was anointed. Jesus was born anointed from the mother's womb, but it was the Spirit of God that activated the blessings of God in his life. The Bible says the Spirit of God descended upon him. That was activation. So there are some opportunities that not as if you need to pray for, but there are some opportunities that God has already, or giftings that God has placed inside of you. For you to see those opportunities, it must be activated by the Spirit of God. One thing you must understand is that unless you become conscious of the Spirit of God that is inside of you, the blessings of God will be blocked. One thing I want everybody to understand, to be be blessed and to see blessings are two things and everyone is born blessed but not everyone walk in blessings everyone is born blessed but not everyone walks in blessing so it is the spirit of god that is responsible to activate or activation of the blessings of god in his people's life so a lot of us we don't see the blessings of god in our life it is because we lack consciousness of the spirit with what let me tell you something god can declare you blessed god can say you will become rich god can say you become influential god can say you are going to deliver your family from captivity but if you are not conscious of the spirit of God that lives inside of you, you die broke. I don't know if this makes sense. So you see that a lot of Christians, we are walking in bondage because of what? We have neglected the spirit of God without knowing that. Let me tell you something. The Bible says, Jesus says, I and the father are one. So you must understand that Jesus understood that without the father or without the spirit, nothing could have been possible. So we, a lot of Christians, we only call the Father, we don't call the Spirit. We only call the Father, we don't call the Spirit. That is why Jesus told the disciples that do not depart from Jerusalem until you have been clothed by the Spirit. Because Jesus understood that men will only listen to his disciples based on the Spirit. Because I told you people that leadership is not about what you can say. It is the voice, it is the Spirit that empowers your voice. Leadership is not about you having what to say. It is the spirit that empowers your voice, the speaker. So without the spirit of God, you are, you are stagnant. A lot of us, we don't see the bless. I told you people that everyone is born blessed. But not everyone works in the blessings of God in their lives. There is no God's purpose for every one of us is for everyone to be successful. Why is it that a lot of people don't succeed? It is because of what they have not understood that they cannot be blessed through, they cannot be blessed without the help of the Spirit. They cannot be blessed without the help of the Spirit. How the Bible overshadowed Mary. 
So you must understand that if you walk with bless, if you are going to walk in blessing, the spirit must empower you. If you are going to see favor, the spirit must empower you. If you are going to be honored, the spirit must empower you. The spirit of God in the body of Christ today, Christians have abandoned the spirit, not knowing that it is the spirit that res- is the spirit that is responsible for their possibilities. That is why Jesus spoke to his disciples. He says, "Do not depart from Jerusalem because you understood that if men and women they will listen to his disciples they will listen to the preaching that they will preach it is come is going to come through the spirit ladies and gentlemen listen to me carefully everyone is born blessed everyone has something in them but you have to understand that without the spirit without the spirit activating that which god has invested in you you would die without using that which god has placed inside of you The Bible says in the book of Hebrews chapter 4, verse 2, something like that. It says how the Spirit distributes gifts according to His will. So many of us, we don't walk in the blessings of God. It is because we have not acknowledged that God can bless you and you you die without seeing the blessings of God based on that you did not realize or you did not come into consciousness that you can be blessed and you, you die not experiencing the blessings of God. If you don't understand these factors that you can be blessed by God, but if the Spirit of God has not money, if the Spirit of God has not activated that blessing, it will never show. Please learn to understand that the Spirit of God and the voice of God, it is one. But you must know how to work with these people. Jesus Let's say God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit, God the Son is all these people are one people, but they have roles to play in our lives. If you have not come to the point to understand that the blessing comes from the Father, the blessing comes from the Father, and Jesus is the one that it is the one that is the one that releases the blessings. And the Spirit of God is the one that brings to pass that which Jesus has approved. We, a lot of us Christians, we are ignorant. Let me tell you something. Do you know why a lot of Christians are not seeing result? It is basic on this issue that they don't acknowledge that jesus can declare you blessed but if the spirit of jesus have not approved those blessings it will never manifest it is with you many of you you are you are where you are it is because you have not understood that the blessings that you carry inside of you can only come out or or can only manifest through the spirit We have to we have to we have to come out we have to we have to understand the reality and the fact that Jesus can speak but it is his spirit that manifests that which Jesus has spoken the bible says when you read the book when I, I think Exodus chapter 8 verse 6 the bible says God spoke to Aaron and Moses but it was the spirit of God that was inside of them that produced the result that God spoke so just because God has spoken, it does not mean it will manifest. It is the Spirit of God that brings. I told you that it is the Spirit of God that is responsible. I told you people that it is the Spirit of God that is responsible for legalizing the activities of God on earth. So you must understand that if he is the one that is responsible to legalize the actions of God on earth, he is the key also to manifest that which he legalized. You can't be blessed without you honoring the spirit. If you honor God, you don't honor his spirit. You can never see the blessings of God. If you honor God and you don't honor his spirit, you can't see the blessings of God. And this is one of the things that a lot of us Christians, we have failed to understand.
Why is it that the Bible says that the Spirit of God overshadowed Mary before she conceived? Why is it that? The angel of the Lord spoke to Mary. He says, the Spirit of God will overshadow you. You will conceive a child. God can, let me tell you something. God can bless you and you don't see that blessing based on that. It is just like you can have a gift and if you don't honor the gift that you have, it will not produce result in your own life. Why is it that a lot of pastors that are, are pastors that God is using, their own family members or whatsoever, they cannot partake of those gifts that God has given to them? I tell you people, many of us, we don't see the blessings of God in our life. It is based, we have not understood that if we are going to see results, it is based on the spirit. The results that native doctors they produce is illegal. They invoke all they invoke all that spirits. It is the spirit of God that is responsible for the activities of God on earth. So if the spirit of God is the one that is responsible for the thing that God is doing on earth, it means it is that same spirit that has what we need. God can bless you, but if the spirit of God has not approved it, it will never happen. Notice today, God can bless you, but if his spirit has not approved it, it will not happen. The Bible, Jesus was, was born on earth. His assignment was to liberate the people from the slavery of the Roman Empire, to liberate the people or to restore the authority that man lost in the Garden of Eden. But it was only when the spirit of God came upon him that he could do that which he was born to do. I want to tell you something. You might pray. You Let me tell you something. You might pray all kinds of prayer, but if the Spirit of God has not accepted or if the Spirit of God has not approved what he, what he thinks that it is right at that moment to do in your life, you will not see, you will not see anything. We have to understand this thing. It is very, very important. It is very, very important. Jesus did not do anything by his own. It was by the Spirit. I and the Father, we are one. And you can never say you love God and you don't appreciate the Spirit of God. You can never say you love God and you don't appreciate his Spirit. Many of us Christians, we let me tell you something. We have to understand. I'm telling you the truth. You can be born blessed, but you don't walk in the blessings of God that has been invested upon your life. You can be born blessed, but you don't walk in the blessings of God in your life. Because of what? You don't know that there is someone, there is a spirit that is responsible to activate that which is inside of you. But I pray for someone in the name of Jesus. I don't know whatsoever that has been delayed in your life, but I came to decree and declare as the same way the Spirit of God activated the call and the assignment of Jesus, I prophesy every blessing that has not been activated, I decree and I declare by the power of the Holy Ghost, let it be activated, let it be activated, let it be activated. In the name of Jesus, it is the Spirit. If God bless you, it is His Spirit that approves it. The Spirit of God and God, they walk hand to hand. So if you are telling me that you love God and you don't appreciate His Spirit or you don't, you don't seek something about His Spirit, many of the things, that is why the Bible says, it says these things the Spirit will declare to you. We, when we read that scripture, John 16 verse 13 coming down, we don't, we, there are a lot of things that we see, we will see from it. I pray that the Holy Ghost will activate your blessing. Everywhere your blessing has been kept, I prophesy. I say, I decree and I declare. I prophesy and I prophesy and I prophesy upon somebody. Everywhere your blessing has been kept, I declare activation. I declare activation. I declare activation. In the name of Jesus. The other thing I want you to know, understand that is that in the name of Jesus. Many of you, you say you want to hear God. How can you hear God if you don't have the Spirit of God? Or how can you hear God if you are not, you are not, you are not tuned with the Spirit of God? 
One of the other things I want you to understand is that the Spirit of God reveals the mind of God. The Spirit of God reveals the mind of God. One of the things, if you see what I'm talking about today, I want you to understand that you can't be confessing that you love God if you don't have an intimate intimacy with the, with the Spirit of God. If you don't have a close relationship with, with the Spirit of God, let us go to the book of 1 Corinthians chapter, chapter 2. I want to show you something there. I think chapter 2 verse 10. 1 Corinthians chapter 2 verse 10. I want people to share. Share the video in the name of Jesus. 1 Corinthians chapter 2 verse 10. And listen to this. It says, These things God has revealed to us. These things God has revealed to us. Through the Spirit. It says, For the Spirit searches, it says, it searches everything. Even the deep things of God. It searches the deep things of God. Let us go down to the other verse. The verse 11, it says, For who knows a person's thought except the spirit of that person? So how do you want to know the thought of God or you want to know the, you want to hear God? If you don't, you are not clean. If you are not clean with the spirit. How do you want to know God? How do you want to hear God? If you are not cleaved with the Spirit of God. So you see that without you having a cliff relationship or if you without you cleaving with the Spirit, you can't know the mind of God. It says, for who knows that a person thought except the Spirit of that person which is in him. So, and so also no one comprehends the thought of God except the Spirit of God. So no one can comprehend, no one can, no one can predict the voice of God or the, when we talk about the thought, we talk about the voice. The voice that you, the voice that comes out from me or the voice you hear, it is my thoughts. So you can never hear the voice of God if you don't cleave to the spirit of God. The spirit of God reveals the mind of God. Many of you, there are certain things that you are doing that is not pleasing in the eyes of God. It is because of what? You claim to confess God publicly, but in inner, inner, inside of you, there is no God. Inner, inside of, we have a lot of Christians, we have a lot of pastors as well. We pastors, those who preach the gospel, they, they confess of knowing God, but if you, re, if you do research inside of them, you will see that they have no God in them. Let me tell you something. To see, to know a great Christian, it is to check their intimacy with the Spirit. They can confess how they have an intimate relationship. They are close to God. They can sing all praises. They can do all kinds of things. But check their intimacy with the Spirit. If you want to know a man who has an intimacy relationship with, the, with God, it is the Spirit of God. What, 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 what is the result that he produced? What are the decisions that he, he takes that brings result? Or what are the things that you see in his life that, no, you say that God is upon this person. That is why you see that, I want to tell you something. You can never comprehend or you can never know the mind of somebody if you are not connected to that person. So a lot of us, we can't hear God because of what? There is so, I tell you something. You can be born blessed, but you don't walk in it. You can call yourself a child of God, but you are not a child of God. Many people say, God, I want God, I want to hear you, I want to hear you. But you are ignoring the, the Spirit of God. You can never hear God if you don't have intimacy with the Spirit of God. How many of you have been have been have you been asking yourself, Holy Spirit, where are you? Holy Spirit, I want to know you. If you are walking with, if you are calling yourself a child of God or you are calling yourself a Christian and you don't find it a day for you to even say, thank you, Holy Spirit. It is, let me tell you something. At times I pray and I spend about 20 minutes just thanking Heavenly Father, I thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I acknowledge them. If you acknowledge Jesus and you don't acknowledge his spirit, you will be, you, you, there are certain things that Jesus will approve and his spirit will withhold. If you don't acknowledge the Father, there are certain things that Jesus will do. But without, let me tell you something. You must be in alignment with the Father, with the Son, with the Spirit. 
You must be in alignment with those people. Jesus was in alignment with the Holy Spirit. Jesus was in alignment with the Heavenly Father. He says, I and the Father, we are one. A lot of us Christians today, we are only with the Father. Heavenly Father, Heavenly Father, we, 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 de we de acknowledge the Son. We de acknowledge the Spirit. And you are calling yourself a child of God. Not understanding that these three, these three entities, they work together as one. So if you dishonor one and you acknowledge one, the other one will look at you and say, ah. So you see that a lot of us, this is one of the thing, one of the main factors that you are unable to hear God because you call God every day, but you don't appreciate his spirit. It is the spirit of God that gives you access to the mind of God. The Bible says, who can comprehend the thoughts of a person? Who can comprehend the thoughts of a person? Nobody. You can't comprehend the thoughts of God if you are not someone that you are aligned with the spirit. Many of us pastors, this is, we call ourselves men of God. But we are, how can I put it? We are deceiving ourselves and we are deceiving others. Your results that you produce, it will, it will, it will show people if you are, you, there is intimacy with God. Your results that you produce. When God reveals his mind, he, he brings direction. When God reveals his mind, he brings his character. When God reveals his mind, he's br he brings his nature. When God reveals his mind, he brings what? He brings his glory. We don't see the glory of God because of what? We don't walk according to the mind of God. What is the mind of God in your marriage? What is the mind of God in your finances? What is the mind of God in your children's life? What is the let me tell you something? If you are walking by the mind of God, the glory of God accompany you. The glory of God accompany us. For the Bible says, For where the spirit of the living God is, there is freedom. So you don't walk in freedom because of what you are not walking in the mind of God. How can you know the mind of God if you are you you you, you the spirit of God, first of all? It is not something that you have you have you have been you have been lost with unless a man become lost by the spirit he can never see spiritual results unless a man or a woman become lost by the spirit you can never see spiritual result there are some of you there are you you cry 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 you cry, you cry you cry you cry you cry use me lord use me lord do you think that there's i'm gonna tomorrow i'm gonna be talking about some of you have been talking about use me, use me, use me. I will give you some factors for you to be used by God or fundamental principles for God to use you. You are crying, Lord, use me, use me. Every day you pray, use me, use me, Lord. But you don't know that there are basic fundamental principles that God has set aside. Le no zibano no kabaroza. So it's the Spirit of God that reveals the mind of God. So that is why a lot of you at times you go to places that you were not supposed to go because of what you were led astray because you did not get the right information that was needed for you to accomplish or for you to execute that which was at hand. I am telling you these things because for you to understand one thing, for you to understand one thing, this fast that we are doing. It carries a lot of weight. It carries a lot of burden. It carries a lot of weight. It carries a lot of burden. In the name of Jesus. So the next. The next important reason. Why you need to develop or to cultivate. A tangible relationship with the spirit of God. It is that. It is the spirit of God that pronounces you as a child of God before God. It is the spirit of God that pronounces you. It is not what you say that brings you or that justify you before God. Everyone listen to me. It is not what you say by your mouth that justify you before God. It is his spirit that proclaims you or that declares you as a child of the kingdom. 
Everybody, Romans chapter 8. I don't know that this thing is sinking in somebody's head. Romans chapter 8. Quickly. Romans chapter 8 verse, I think verse 9. Le Rosie Makoja. Romans chapter 8 verse 9. It says, you, however, are not of the flesh, but in the spirit. If, in fact, the spirit of God dwells in you, anyone who does not have the spirit of Christ does not belong to, to him. So you see that it is the spirit of God that declares you as a child of God. It is not, you have a lot of people today, they just call themselves, they are children of God. Just because you are going to church, it does not legalize you as a child of God. When rapture, when rapture takes place, you will see that a lot of people who are in churches, they are going to remain. You call yourself a child of God, you call yourself a woman of God, you call yourself a, a, a man of God. Where there is no relationship with the spirit, you call yourself a child of God. It is the spirit of God that makes you a child of God. The Bible says, anyone that does not have the spirit does not belong to Christ. Does not belong to Christ. You that is watching me, are you sure you carry the spirit of God? Are you sure you carry the spirit of God that when you can boast that you are a child of God? Many people... They call themselves children of God. Just because you read the Bible does not make you, it does not make you to be filled with it. We have a lot of people who read the Bible not based because they want to know God, because they just want to, they just want to please people. They just want, they just want to remove that guilt that they are not studying the word of God. Stop calling yourself a child of God if you have not cultivated that, if you have not received the spirit. You call yourself a child of God. You call yourself, let me tell you something. You will see someone who is a child of God based on their results that they produce. You can never carry the spirit of God, you produce bad results. You can never possess, you can never be filled with the spirit of God, you produce bad results. If you are calling yourself a child of God and your results that you are producing, it does not. Let me tell you something. A person that carries the spirit of God, their result is the nature of heaven. A person that carries the spirit of God, their result is the nature of heaven. You see somebody there. I don't need to. Let me tell you something. I don't need to ask you if you are a child of God or not. If I observe your result, I will know where you belong. Your result would your, your your result will identify who you are. It is just like the same thing. When you meet a man of God, the the ascent, the present, you will know that this one is a the, is a carrier of the glory of God. Many of you people are deceiving you. They say they are child of God, they are men of God, whatsoever. What are the results that they produce? What are the results? So the Bible tells us that. Anyone that does not carry the spirit of God is not a child of God. Anybody that does not carry the spirit of God is not a child of God. Many people that are going to church, they go to church, they commit sin. You think that you carry this just because you are, you are there, you are singing praises, hymns, or it does not make you a child of God. Those that are called children of God are those that are filled with the Spirit. It is the Spirit that proclaims, that declares that you are one of God. Not by your words that you speak. A lot of people, they speak what they are not. In the same way, many people call themselves prophets. Many people call themselves pastors. If you are a pastor, it will show the results that you produce. If you are a child of God, it will show the result that you produce. In the name of Jesus. So you have to understand that if you are going to be called a child of God, it's because the Spirit of God has approved you. The Spirit of God has approved you. I want to tell you something. For the Spirit of God to approve you, it means that your relationship with the Spirit, it increases. It increases. 
Many people that receive Jesus, some people will be like, why is it that if you, if you say that some people, uh, people who don't carry the Spirit of God, they, are, they don't belong to God. Some of you, you receive Christ Jesus very well. And it came to a point that you began to live a life that does not, that does not please God. The Spirit might be inside of you, but it might not be controlling you. One of the things I want you to understand also is that anyone, anyone, if you are a true child of God, you will not be led by the flesh. You will be led by the spirit. It says those that... Let's take one more scripture. I think that this is the next... One of the things you have to understand is that the next point, I will give some few. I wanted us to pray, but I wanted to tell you people something because a lot of Christians, they have ignored the relationship with the spirit of God. I told you God can bless you, but if the spirit is not acknowledged, the blessing will not manifest. Know this today. God can declare good things in your life, but if the spirit does not man, if the spirit does not approve it, it can never happen. The spirit of God and God they work hand to hand. They work hand to hand. Why the Bible says that the spirit will declare to you everything that he is? It is what God has pronounced in your life that the spirit declares. When we talk about declaration, we talk about manifestation. We de- when the Spirit of God declares, it happens. So he only hears what the Father has spoken concerning you, but it can only manifest if what he has approved it. When he declares it, many people are born blessed, but they don't walk in the blessing. Many of you, you might be one of those people. God has blessed you, but you cannot see the blessings of God in your life because of what? You don't acknowledge the Spirit. What you don't acknowledge, you will never see it result. If you acknowledge the Spirit of God, what God has spoken, He will manifest it. He will declare it and it will manifest in the name of Jesus. So the other reason is that, the other reason why you are in need of the Spirit so badly is that without the Spirit of God, God cannot lead you. So you see that there are some things that a lot of Christians are walking blindly. You cry, God, lead me, lead me. How can God lead you if you are not sensitive to his spirit? In the name of Jesus. Romans chapter 8 verse 14. In the name of Jesus. Romans chapter 8 verse 14. So it says, for all who are led by the spirit of God are called sons sons of God. Then we go down to verse 15. It says, it says, for you did not receive the spirit of slavery to fall back into fear, but you have received the spirit of the spirit of adoption as son by whom we cry, Abba, Father. So you see that a lot of we, a lot of we Christians, we are not led by God because of what? We have acknowledged God cannot lead you if you don't have a relationship with the spirit. Many of you that are watching me, you claim to have a relationship with God. But where is the relationship that you have with the Spirit? Where is the relationship? Thank you, Lord. Let me put the light. It's getting that. One minute, please. in the name of jesus thank you lord it's getting dark so i needed to put the light so you see that god cannot lead you if you don't have a relationship with his spirit so this is why you see that a lot of Christians, you call God, you call God, you call God, you call God. That is why Jesus, if you read some scriptures, you understand that there are some things that without the spirit of God, it can never happen just because God has spoken it. Jesus spoke to his disciples. If they never followed the instruction that Jesus gave, they would have not become the apostles that they were. Leadership, if God will lead you, you need the spirit. God leads us through his spirit because it's only the spirit of God that knows the mind of God. Many, a lot of women, they act corruptly in their marriages. 
a lot of you you act corruptly in your jobs a lot of you you act corruptly in whatsoever how to discipline your children it is because you are not led by god anyone that is led by god it the spirit of god gives you direction how god because he knows the mind of god a lot of christians cannot live by god's principle because of what they are ignorant they are not conscious of the spirit of god if you let me tell you something you have to understand that every spirit that is created on every spirit that operates on earth it be, it is being created by god when you go to native doctors the powers that they invoke it is the spirit it is the power of god but one thing that it is it is demonic it is because god has not authorized it in the same way when you collect something that does not belongs to you or that has not been authorized that has not you have not gotten authorization it is stealing so you see that native doctors they do stealing but where the spirit of god is it is that it is what god has designed his spirit as what legalizes his activities on earth so god cannot lead you if you are not full of his spirit we are fasting the bible says let me let's go to our key verse our, our, the, the, the verse that we used to fast is it psalms 27 verse i think verse 11. we are fasting you are praying god lead me psalms 27 verse 11 it says teach me your ways O lord and lead me on a level path because of my enemy how can god lead you out of danger if you are not sensitive to his spirit how can god lead you out of your enemies or out of trouble or out of persecution whatsoever you might call if you are not sensitive to his spirit you can never be led by god if you are not sensitive to his spirit i pray that god will cause you to become sensitive to his spirit i decree and i declare that everything that is holding your relationship with the spirit of god I declare by the power of the Holy Ghost that today it will be destroyed. That today it will be destroyed. In the name of Jesus. That is why you see that a lot of you, you do wrong things. You do things that does not please God because you are not led by the Spirit of God. You can, any, let me tell you something. This is one of the things, if, for you to know a true Christian, it is someone that has a tangible relationship with the Spirit. You cannot confess that you have a, you have a relationship with God if you are ignorant of His Spirit. Everybody knows you if you are if you have been saying that I have a relationship with God But you don't you, your intimacy with his spirit is absent. I tell you the truth. You are faking it God is just looking at you. That is why the Bible says Jesus will say to some he says some will say Lord Lord I prophesy some Lord. Let me tell you something if you read the Bible You see that some there are some activities that seem to be looking godly on earth But it is not authorized by God Jeremiah 13 he says some prophet that prophesied by Baal Jesus says, some I will say, Lord, some will cry to me, Lord, Lord, I prophesied in your name. But he will say, I knew you not. Just because something looked godly does not mean it please God. Many of you, you go to churches, you shout, you shout, you shout. But there is no intimacy with God. How can you claim to be appreciating God, but you don't appreciate his spirit? It is some of the things that a lot of Christians we are doing. You can never be led by God or you can never be used by God. Tomorrow I'm going to be giving you factors for God to use you. Many of you, you have been praying, Lord, use me, Lord, use me. There are some things that you must go through before God can use you. Many of you are going through all kinds of battles. You have fought all kinds of battles. You are still going into battles. You are praying God to lead you. How can God lead you if you are not conscious of his spirit? Then let me tell you something. God has blessed you. Everyone that is watching me. I don't know whatever area in life God has blessed you. God might be God has blessed you in your, 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 your education. In the field that God has called you. He has blessed you. But you can never see those blessings if his spirit has not approved it. Or if his spirit has not declared it. 
The Spirit of God is the, manufacture, the manufacturer of the blessings of God. Somebody say, the Spirit of God is the manufacturer of the blessings of God. It, God has blessed you. There are cars that company have manufactured, but the coupling, assembling, the, 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 the department, it is those who present the car to the public. The Spirit of God is that which assembles, that couples the blessings of God in your lives. You are ignorant of the Spirit. You call God every day. God is saying, why are you calling me? Go to my spirit. I have given everything to you. Why do? This is why you see that a lot of us, we don't produce results. Because we are ignorant. You can call yourself a Christian and you die poverty because of all. You don't know that God is not the one that has that resources. He is he, the creator of the resources, but he has placed those resources into his spirit. He has placed those resources into his spirit. The Spirit of God is that which has the authority to legalize or to manufacture the blessings of God in your lives. A lot of Christians, you fast. You can fast, you can take a fast for 100 days, but it, you don't even hear nothing about the Spirit of God. In, the person who is responsible for your possibilities. There is, let me tell you something. If anything will happen to you, it is the spirit. It is the spirit. God cannot bless a, a God cannot bless a generation without his spirit. The Bible says God spoke to the children of Israel. He says, I will liberate you from the house of slavery. The Bible says the spirit of the Lord went before them in the pillar of fire, in the pillar of cloud. By day, by night. Why was the spirit of God needed? God cannot do anything in your life without the Spirit. If you don't acknowledge the Spirit of God, you will never be blessed. It's not as if God is wicked. It is the principle that God has ordained for humanity. Wake up. Let's wake up. Let's wake up. In the same way you can, those of you that are couples, you cannot appreciate the woman without appreciating the man. If a, if, if a family, if couples have an intelligent daughter or son, they cannot appreciate the mother and they leave the husband. Many of you, you appreciate the husband and you leave the wife. I am giving you an, an illustration. That is partiality. God shows no partiality. The Bible says in the book, I think it's in the book of Karuzunima Kozia Katosa, Romans chapter 2, verse is it 11 or something like that? The Bible says God shows no partiality. If you read Ephesians chapter 6, verse 9, or something like that, or Acts chapter 10, verse 34, it says God shows no partiality. So if you are calling on God and you don't, you ignore His Spirit, you are putting partiality. Jesus says, I and the Father are one. Everything that Jesus did, he acknowledged the Father. Why don't you acknowledge His Spirit? Acknowledge His Spirit. Try to make some time and begin to acknowledge the Spirit of God. Acknowledge the Spirit of God. It carries what you are in need of. Is it promotion? The Holy Ghost carries promotion. Is it pregnancy? The Holy Ghost can make... The Bible says the Spirit of God overshadowed Mary and she, she conceived. She got pregnant. Kaluma, Rosiana, Kopaliaka. There are some things only... You have to use your initiative. Not everything needs prayer. There are times that when you get, you just need to say, Holy Spirit, I thank you for that job. Holy Spirit, I thank you for that. I thank you for that opportunity. I thank you for that promotion. I thank you for preservation. It is the Spirit of God that, uh, that, that envelop, like, that package the possibilities of God. Many of us, we have been ignorant. Many of us, we have been ignorant. I'll give you one more we we'll pray. I just came for us to pray, but I wanted you to be, for you to be conscious. God cannot bless you without you acknowledging His Spirit. It is just the reality. If pastors have not been preaching this, or if other preachers have not been bringing this to point, many of us, we are deceived because we don't know the real knowledge that God has instituted for us to see the possibilities of His glory. God liberated the children of Israel, but God needed his God needed to release his spirit for them to be led to their destination. Without the spirit of God, you cannot get to your destination. Moses understood it. The Bible says God sent Moses. It says, Go. It says, But if your spirit does not go with us, we will not go.
How many of you have you received a prophecy and you are saying, Oh Lord, this prophecy that has come, but if your spirit does not go with me, I won't be able to accomplish it. Some of you, you see yourself so stupid in the eyes of the Holy Ghost that you cannot, be, you cannot become foolish. The Bible says, unless you become a child, unless you become a child, you cannot enter the kingdom of God. One of the things that a lot of us, we have this pride that we cannot sit down in our house and say, Holy Spirit, now I want to eat dinner. What are you going to? Are you going to join me to eat? You must become foolish in the eyes of the Spirit of God for you to see his manifestation. It is so, so, so in the body of Christ right now. If you have not become so stupid in the eyes of God that you become a fool, you cannot see God. You cannot. You cannot. That's why we see that a lot of, like, let me show you. One of the things also you have to see is that, let's go to the book of Romans chapter, I think Romans chapter 26, something like that. Romans chapter 8 verse 26. I want to show you something. This is why you see that our prayers are powerless. This is why you pray, nothing happens. You can't produce result Because you don't know that there, it's not what you say that matters. It is, I told you people that leadership is not about the, what, to, what to say. It is the spirit that empowers your voice, the speaker. Moses was not education. Moses was a stammerer. But what? God says, I will put words in your lips. It is the spirit. That, call, that, call, that qualifies you or that gives you approval for you to become a leader. Just because you are educated does not make you to become a, a, does not guarantee or does not give you approval to lead people. Don't you see a lot of educated presidents, they are unable to lead. It's because the spirit that influenced them, the grounds. Okay, Romans chapter... Romans chapter 8 verse 26. I want to show you something. And I will end here. We'll pray for people. I wanted you people to be conscious of the spirit. That's why, that's why, that's one of the things that I, why I, I preach, I came to preach online today. It says, likewise, the spirit helps us in our weakness. It says, for we do not know what to pray for as we ought. But the spirit himself intercedes for us with deep, with too deep for words. Ladies and gentlemen, Many of us, we are not able to pray because we have not come to the point to understand that it is not how long we pray or it is not the word, the English. Some of you, you have this, is it, I don't know, it's charisma or whatsoever. You think that you are so intelligent. When you go before God, you begin to break all kinds of grammar, all kinds of, all kinds of linguistic, I don't know how to put it. You, let me tell you something. It is not how much work you offer that pleases God. The Bible says before you go before God, he knows what you are in need of. If you have not acknowledged that your prayers can only be enforced by the Spirit, I tell you the truth, you will pray until nothing will happen. It says we ought not to know what to pray. We ought not to know. It is the Holy Ghost that brings enforcement to our prayers to God. So if your prayers will be answered, if you are going to have a positive result towards the prayers that you have offered, it is through the Spirit. It says you ought not to know what to pray. A lot of children, a lot of children of God or a lot of people in the body of Christ, they have not understood that we wrestle not against flesh and blood. But the Bible says we wrestle against principalities and power. Unless the Spirit of God empowers a man or a woman's prayer, their prayers are powerless. That is why you see the Bible says in the book of James chapter 5 verse 17, the Bible says Elijah prayed fervently and the heavens were shut. It was not Elijah, it was the Spirit that was responsible for Elijah's prayer. Family of God, you must understand that if you are going to see result, if you are going to see change, if you are going to see people are going to speak about the God that you serve, it is the spirit that empowers your prayer. Many of you, your prayers are not answered. It is because you are still moving by the flesh. It is because you are still thinking according to the patterns of the world. The Bible says, do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewal of your mindset. When your mind is being renewed, it is when the 
the Spirit of God begins to pray through you, and everyone that prays through the Spirit, they produce result. Many people don't produce result. It is based that they are not the one praying, but they, they are not the one praying. It is demons influencing them. That is why a lot of you, when you go to the place of prayer, when you begin to pray, you begin to listen to the things that the, the, your troubles, your, your pain, or your all kinds of all kinds of difficulties that you got during the day. You want to pray. You are thinking about your house friends. You want to pray. You are thinking about your son. You want to pray. You are thinking about the, the job that you are, your job interview that you went. You can never pray by the spirit if you are focused on the things of the world. Many of you, you go in the place of you. Let me tell you one of the things for you to know that you are not, the spirit of God is not responsible for your prayers. What are your thoughts that you, you have towards your place of prayer? Many people, you go in the place of prayer, you are thinking about your husband. You go in the place of prayer, you are thinking about immigration issue. You go in the place of prayer, you are thinking about the money that you have to work. So is it business? When the Spirit of God empowers your prayer, when you go before God, it's not about your business. It's not about your job. It's not about your worries. It's about you and God. The Bible says, blessed are those that are pure in heart. They shall see God. You don't see God because of what? Your mind is not focused on God. The Holy Spirit only empowers those who focus on God. Those who focus on God. Why is it that? Why don't you ask yourself? This is one of the... I want you to know. Every time you go to pray, your mind is not on God. A lot of this, you can never hear God if you are not focused on God. You can never hear God if you are not focused on God. Begin to think about your, your, your marital issue. The Bible says, it says, cast your body to God and God will give you rest. It did not say when you go before God, you begin to think about the things that are disturbing you. You begin to think about your 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 the, the what the, the things that are happening to you. You begin to think about how you were rejected. You must know that in the presence of God there is fullness of joy. I think Psalms 11 or Psalms 11 or 16 verse 11. In the presence of the Lord there is fullness of joy. Many of us, our prayers are not empowered by the Holy Spirit because of what? Our mindset are not on God. You think about the things of the world. You think about your weakness. The Bible says we ought not to know what to pray. So when you don't know what to pray, it means that you don't know what you are in need of. You are thinking of your weakness. You are thinking of the things, that your sin. You are thinking of the things that you did. God is not interested of your past. God is not interested in your past. He said the plan that I have for you is to prosper you and for your welfare. God does not, let me tell you something. Unless you remove that mentality that your God and your creator is not after your accusation or your past life. The Bible says, since when we were seen as Christ died for us. So it means that God did not look at the, the, our righteousness or the things that we have done. But he knew through, our own, through his own, own, own steadfast love that he has towards us. The Bible, says, the Bible says, for God so loved the world that he gave his only son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but will have everlasting life. I want everybody to understand. Many of you people are not seeing results. It's because of this one thing. It's not the spirit of God that empowers your prayer. And every prayer that is made that is not empowered by the spirit, it will never be answered. When you go before God, forget about your worries. Forget about your challenges. Forget about your weakness. Forget about the things that you are not able to do. Let your focus be on God. David says, Our, my eyes are towards you, Lord. Why did David say, my eyes are towards you? You must understand that unless your focus is driving away from your problems, you can never see results. You, unless your focus leaves your present challenges, you can never see God. If you go before God with your challenges, if you go before God with your difficulties, if you go before God with all kinds, let me tell you something. When you are unconscious, by, if you are unconscious on yourself, that is when God begins to heal you. That is, that is when God begins to turn your mockery. This is one of the things you see in the, in the case of Hannah. 
when Hannah always went before God to pray, Hannah was conscious of who she was. But when Hannah wept until she was lost, the Bible says Eli took her as a drunk. But she said, no, my Lord, I pour my heart before the Father. It says, go, let it be so for you. Let, may, the, may the Lord grant your heart desire. The Bible says, after that, Hannah conceived. You are not receiving result. It is because you go before God with your mind. You are not receiving result because you go before God thinking about the things that are disturbing you. But fail to understand that your God provides protection. Your God provides healing. Your God provides breakthrough. Your God provides encounter. Anything that you need, as far as you go before God with a pure heart, you will come back with it. Because the Bible says you ought not to know what you pray. God knows your heart desire. God knows what you are in need of. Let me show you one scripture in the book of Psalms. They will pray. Everybody say, Lord, cause me to be conscious of your spirit. This is what you need. To be conscious of the spirit of God. When you are conscious of the spirit of God, you can detect schemes. Many people are not able to detect the scheme of the devil because of what? We are not conscious before we are not conscious of God. So when you read Psalms 123, this is David speaking. He says, To you I lift up my eyes. So you see that the focus of David is not on his challenges, it's not on his on his battles, it's on God. He says, to, Unto God I lift up my eyes. When you go in the place of prayer, be focused on your challenges, be focused on what you are going through in your marriage, be focused on what you are going through your job, be focused on the stubbornness of your children, be focused on your barrenness, be focused on all kinds of things that life is giving to you right now. You will not see God. Let your eyes be on God. Let your focus be on God. The Bible says, weeping and joy in the night, but joy cometh in the morning. God knows that you are in difficulties. God knows that you are in pain. God knows that you are waiting. It says, let your heart take courage. Those who wait upon the Lord. When your heart takes courage, it means that you must focus. Your gaze must be on God. I pray for someone. I don't know what you have been waiting for, but I come to decree and declare. I stand in agreement with you. I prophesy and I decree and I declare by the power of the Holy Ghost let the hand of God touch you let the Holy Ghost empower your prayer I prophesy to somebody I declare and I declare everything that has been distracting you for you to encounter your breakthrough I decree and I declare by the power of the Holy Ghost I prophesy every demonic manipulation for you not to be focused in your place of encounter I prophesy let it be destroyed I prophesy let it be destroyed every demonic mirror or every demonic image that has been invested upon your mind for you not to be conscious by the Spirit of God I declare and I declare by the power of the Holy Ghost. So he said, To you I lift up my eyes, O you who are enthroned in the heaven. It says, Behold, as the eyes of servants look to them to the hands of their master, as the eyes of meat servants to the hands of their mistress, so our eyes look to the Lord our God, till he has had mercy, till he has had mercy on us. So if your eyes are focused on Jesus, you are not the one who prays. That is when the, the Bible says, that, that is when is it, uh, Romans chapter 8 verse 26, it says the spirit of God prays through us. When your eyes are focused on God, it takes, it takes only anyone that is focused by God or anyone that focuses on God to see the spirit moving inside of them. If you have not come to the point that the Spirit of God is the one that leads your prayers, you must, let me tell you something, you must come in that point that you are not the one who prays, but the Spirit prays through you. And when the Spirit prays through you, it prays according to the will of the Father, not your will. Let me show you something in the book of Samuel. First Samuel, I want to show you something. How Hannah prayed. How Hannah prayed and God responded based on that she was not the one praying, but the Spirit of God in her was praying. In the name of Jesus. Is someone being blessed this evening? First Samuel chapter 1. I don't know what I, I think chapter 1. Is someone being blessed this evening? In the name of Jesus. Listen to this. First Samuel chapter 
Okay. First Samuel chapter 1 verse 12. The Bible says, As she continued praying before the Lord, Eli observed her mouth. Hannah was speaking in her heart. Only her lips moved. Her voice was not heard. Therefore, Eli took her to be a drunker, a drunk, a drunker woman. So you see that Hannah prayed in the point that she lose focus, and Eli thought she was drunk. Unless you become unconscious to your present challenges, you can never see result. Somebody say, unless I become unconscious, if you are barren, unless you become unconscious that you are barren, if you are jobless, unless you become unconscious that you are jobless, you will never see results. Every time, if you look the previous, uh, the previous meeting, the Bible says every year, Elkanai, the husband of Hannah, they, were, they went to Chilo to sacrifice before God. And the Bible says what? Hannah keep on going to God, but nothing happened. Because of why? Hannah was not going before God based that she has lost that consciousness that she was barren. But she was always focused on her problems. You can, let me tell you some, something. Your prayers can never be empowered by the Spirit of God if you are conscious of your present challenges or your present situation. The Holy Spirit only empowers those who have been lost by God. David says, our eyes are towards the Lord. As the meat servant and as the hands of, as the eyes of the servants look towards their master, unless your eyes become focused on God, unless your mind become focused on God, unless your thought become focused on God, everything that you seek is in vain. The Bible says in the presence of the Lord there is fullness of joy. So when you get to that realm that you encounter God, God begins to reveal, God begins to release that which you are in need of. If you are in need of a job, God gives you a job. If you are in need of a baby, God gives you a baby. Because it is not a baby that has brought you before God, but it is your zeal and your lust for God that has brought you in the presence of God. Family of God, I want somebody to understand that unless you become lost for God, you can never see God. Unless you become lost for God, you cannot produce result. Ladies and gentlemen, Moses became lost and he saw God. Joshua became lost and he saw God. Elijah became lost and he saw God. Elisha became lost and he saw God. Deborah became lost and he saw she saw God. You must become lost for God before you see result ladies and gentlemen the apostles be, they became lost that is why jesus revealed himself the apostles became lost they saw god ladies and gentlemen there is nobody in the bible that was in his normal normal senses or in his normal mentality that they saw god everyone that saw god they were lost for god before god revealed himself i want you to know if you are going to see god in your life this year you must become lost because lost is that which brings you as a child before God. When you are not lost for God, you can never see God. Jesus says unless a man becomes a child, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. Jesus was reflecting that unless you become a child before you can receive from a father. Ladies and gentlemen, you provide for your children because you know that they, they have no strength on their own. Before God can do anything in your life, you must become a child by being lost. <coughs> so this is why you see that a lot of people, we don't produce results. Your one thing you have to understand is that if your prayers... If your prayer life does not produce result, there are three things that will happen to you. Anyone that their prayer life does not produce result, the first thing that will happen, they become frustrated. If your prayers, listen to me, family of God, the Bible says in the book of, is it Romans chapter 8 verse 26. Mili Marusa. I want people to share. If this sermon has been a blessing in your life, I want you to share. Romans chapter, I want to show you people something. I will show, I will give you three consequences that happens to people 
Tomorrow, I don't know if I'm blessed. I don't know if I should preach on consequences of impatience. Those of you who are impatient, I will give you consequences of an impatient person. So, Romans chapter 8, verse 26, it says, Likewise, the Spirit helps us in our weakness, for we do not know what to pray for as we ought, but the Spirit Himself intercedes for us with deeper, with, with, glo- with groanings too deep for words. Prophet Solomon, God bless you. So, the first thing that happens to a man or a woman that their prayers are not answered, they become frustrated. You can see that in the life of soul. The Bible says when God went, let me even give you one more scripture, Psalms. I want to show you something. The Bible says when soul seek God and God did not respond through dreams or urims by prophets, he went to a necromancer, a native doctor. So when some of you, the things that you have done by doing the things that are not supported before God, it is because your prayers have not been answered, you are frustrated. And your prayers can never be answered if the Holy Spirit does not empower you. I want to show you people something. Psalms, the book of Psalms, this is Psalms 37, something like that, Psalm, Psalm 30. Let me check the scripture. I want to show you people something. In the name of Psalms 32, it says, Therefore, let everyone who is godly, let everyone that is godly offer prayers to you at a time when you may be found. Everyone that is watching me, scripture is telling us clearly that not every time God might be found in our lives. You are calling yourself a Christian. Anyone that is God, the Bible says, let prayers be offered to him, to God, when he may be found. So it is not every time, just because we know that God is available, it is not every time that God responds. So your prayers, if you, you are praying that you are not praying by the Spirit or you are not, your prayers are not enforced by the Spirit of God, you are in problem. You are in problem. So you see that frustration comes in when prayers are not answered. Saul was frustrated. Saul was frustrated. He had to do things that, he, things that was not supported by God. A lot of us, this is one of the things that is happening. You have prayed, you have prayed, you have prayed. You ought to you you fail to understand that your prayers are powerless if the spirit of God does not empower it. Your prayers are powerless, it's useless. If the Holy Spirit does not empower your prayers, it is useless. And we have a lot of Christians, this is what we do. And you come to the point you don't produce results, you become frustrated. Saul did it. He prayed, he prayed nothing. The Bible says what? He went and invoked the spirit of Samuel. Samuel was asking, why have you invoked me? So when you don't pray by the spirit or the spirit of God does not empower your spirit or your prayers, you become frustrated. Prophet Explorer, God bless you, man. You, you become frustrated. And we have a lot of Christians today, we are, we are frustrated because of what? We were praying by our mindset. We were praying by our flesh. I told you that unless you become lost for God, you can never see God. Unless you become lost for God, you can never produce result. Hannah became lost. Mary became lost. Lost is what grants you access, the presence of God. And lost makes you to become humble, humility. If you are not lost for God, you cannot submit to God. After after you have been frustrated, you become misled. The second consequence that happens to a man or a woman, that their prayer life does not produce result. They are frustrated. The second thing that happens, they are misled. You take wrong decision. When so they when so prayed, 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 God did not respond. He went and he invoked, or he went to a necromancer, someone, people, native doctor that he bound, that they were not supposed to be found in the land of Israel. Many of you, your prayer life, you are not producing results. It has made you even, you have gone to associate with things that you yourself, you know that these things are ungodly. I told you people that it is the spirit of God that legalizes the activities of God. Any spirit that invokes the power of God is illegal before God. Native doctors, they tap in the power of God 
not legalized or not authorized by God. Every the Bible says power belongs to God. So even the the powers that native doctors are using to kill people is from God, but it is not authorized by God for it to be used on earth. It is the spirit of God that legalizes the activities of God on earth. If you are going to be blessed, it is through his spirit. If you are going to be led by the spirit, if you are going to be led by God, it is through his spirit. The Bible says all those who are led by, by God or by the spirit are called the sons of God. If you are going to be declared as a child of God, it is the spirit. Jesus says, unless someone carries my spirit, it does not belong to me. Are you a child of God? Let us come to the point to understand that without the Spirit of God, we cannot get to our destination. You cannot fulfill the mandate of God in your life if you don't acknowledge the Spirit that God has provided for us to get to our destination. The angel of the Lord needed to go before the children of Israel for them to get to the land of Canaan. If you are going to fulfill the purpose of God in your life this season, this year, in your marriage, in your business, in your career, whatever thing that you are seeking God for, you must, 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 must know the Spirit of God. Be conscious of the Spirit. He's there. You must be conscious of Him. If you are not conscious of Him, you might miss a lot of blessings. Many people miss the blessing. I told you people that it is the Spirit of God that activates the blessings of God in your life. You are blessed. You were born blessed. But you can only see those blessings if the Spirit of God declares it. It says he will declare what he hears from the Father. God has pronounced a blessing in your life before you were born. But for you to see those blessings, you need the acknowledgement and you need a intimacy with the Spirit. I pray that everyone that is listening to me, by this sermon, I don't know whatever area in your life that you are suffering. I pray that the hand of God will touch you. I pray that the hand of God will touch you. Every area in your life that you have been struggling, that you are in need of change. You are in need of an encounter. You are in need of a resort. You are in need of a breakthrough. You are in need of, for, the, for God to silence your enemy. I pray that let the Spirit of God overshadow you. Father, begin to overshadow your people with your spirit. Father, begin to overshadow your people with your spirit. Many of you, you have been, since you gave your life to God, you have been ignorant of the spirit. But you have to understand that without the spirit of God, there are possibilities that God has prepared for everyone for it to manifest. You need the spirit. I pray that the hand of God will touch you right now. Spirit of the living God, begin to touch them. Spirit of the living God, begin to touch them. You can never walk with God without His Spirit. You can never walk with God without His Spirit. The Bible tells us that it is the Spirit of God that reveals the mind of God. Unless a spirit of a man reveals the thoughts of that person, you can't comprehend the thoughts of that person. It is the Spirit of God that knows the mind of God. The Bible says it searches the deep things of God. I decree and I declare what you are in need of god i pray let the holy ghost begin to reveal that which you are in need of let the holy ghost begin to search the deep things of god that you are in need of this season i prophesy and i decree and i declare I speak right now by the power of the Holy Ghost. Father, begin to touch your people. Father, begin to reveal yourself to your people. Oh God. Ripandos kano maliku bregete kasuziana kojada mana. Iba ruziana koshka vanta brena nuzia katoja. I told you people that you can never hear God if you don't have his spirit. Many of you want to hear God. Many of you want to hear God. Jesus says the words that I speak to you are spirit. And Jesus says, my sheep hear my voice. You can't access the voice of God without the Spirit of God. I pray that the Spirit of God will reveal the voice of God to you. I decree and I declare by the power of the Holy Ghost. Oh, Spirit of the living God, begin to touch your people. Oh, Spirit of the living God, begin to touch us, oh God. Wherever in our life we have been ignorant of you, oh God. For we understood that the possibility 
possibilities that God has invested in our life, oh God, comes through you, Spirit of the living God. Father, begin to touch us right now. In the name of Jesus, Father, let cancer begin to disappear. Let every form of sickness that has been invested upon your people by the devil, oh God, through your spirit, oh God, let there be healing. Father, I decree and I declare those that their documents have been kept somewhere or that have been placed in pits of Baronos Yakota Baladea, in every demonic pit, I prophesy and I decree and I declare, for you say, for where one or two are gathered in your name, there you are, oh God. This evening, as we call upon you, oh Jesus, may your hand begin to touch your people. I decree and I declare, by the Spirit of the living God, everything that has been written upon your life that is not of God, I prophesy every illegal report that has been issued upon your destiny, I declare by the Spirit of the living God, today it has been destroyed, today it has been destroyed, I prophesy Lubranoski Patoliaka, Father begin to touch them, Father begin to touch them, Father begin to touch them, I decree and I declare, everywhere your job has been manipulated, everywhere your job or your document, your names or your miracle or your next level, the devil is trying to mani manipulate it. We decree and we declare by the spirit of the living God, may the Lord begin to turn things for your favor. May the Lord begin to turn things for your favor. The Bible says when the Lord restored the fortunes of the children of Israel, we were like those who dreamt. I prophesy that God will turn your captivity into celebration. God will turn your captivity into breakthrough. God will turn your weeping into testimony. I prophesy, I decree and I declare, oh God, I decree and I declare, oh God, may your spirit begin to quicken your people, those that are dry in the spirit, those that are dry in prayer, those that are dry with zeal, I prophesy, let the spirit of God begin to touch you. I decree and I declare, those, the Maruda Batoki Paranousia, there are five of you, you are praying for the gift of tongues. I speak right now, let the hand of God touch you. I I prophesy the spirit of the living God as it came upon the disciples of Jesus in the book of Acts chapter 2 verse 4 and it divided various kinds of tongues. I declare everyone that is under the influence of my voice, you are believing God for an unstoppable tongues. I speak right now. Holy Ghost touch them. Holy Ghost touch them. The fire of God is falling upon people. The fire of God is falling upon people. Touch them right now, Holy Spirit. Libra Nanoski Vatolia. The fire of God is falling upon someone. The fire of God is falling upon men and women that are zealous to work with God this season. God says, I am pouring out my spirit. The Bible says in the book of Joel, chapter 2, verse 28 to 29, it says, In the last days, God will pour out his spirit upon all flesh. It says, Your sons and daughters will prophesy. And it says, Young men will see vision and old men will dream dream. If you go to the book of Acts, chapter 2, verse 17, it says, In the last days, God will pour out his spirit. I am prophesying upon somebody. May the spirit of God come upon you. I am prophesying upon somebody. The same way the spirit of God overshadowed Mary. I prophesy. The word of God declares that God shows no partiality. I decree and I declare every power from your father's family that is fighting against your intimacy with your God. I prophesy. I call upon the God of Isaac. I I call upon the God, the God of Jacob. I call upon the God of Abraham. I stand to decree and I declare the God of Israel shall fight your battle. The same way God fought the battle of the people of Israel. I prophesy every family battle that is fighting against your working with God. I prophesy let that power be destroyed. Let that power be destroyed. May the Lord begin to empower you with your spirit. May the Lord begin to empower you with your spirit. Every Everywhere there is weakness. The Bible says those that wait upon the Lord, they shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagle. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. I am prophesying to somebody. May the Spirit of God empower you. May the Spirit of God empower somebody. I declare that marital weariness. I 
prophesy, let strength come upon you. I decree and I declare that spiritual weakness may the power of God come upon you. Holy Spirit begin to overshadow them. Holy Spirit begin to overshadow them. Every challenges that you are facing, but today I stand to prophesy to someone the same way God gave grace to Joseph to overcome all type of challenges. I decree and I declare may that challenges turn to this. Let it disappear. Let it disappear. Let it turn to honor. Every challenges that are in front of you right now, I am speaking to someone. I know as you are listening to me, your ears are burning with fire. That challenges that the devil have said before you, I prophesy. It is going to turn to be an honor. It is going to be an honor. The same way Joseph's challenges became honor in his life, I prophesy. I am speaking to 15 people. I decree and I declare, your challenges is going to turn to honor. I am decreeing and declaring. I am decreeing and declaring. Let your turn marasuti palakosa. It is your time for a turn around. It is your time for a turn around. Libando rosia nabatoki baradosia. Father, begin to touch them. Father, begin to touch them. Your ears are burning. Fifteen of you. Fifteen. There are fifteen of you. God says your battles are turning to become honor. It is coming honor, honor, honor. Every battles that the devil have said before you, it is coming as honor. Your battles, it will make people who honor you. Likori zibana koshala batosa. Holy Spirit, we thank you. Holy Spirit, we thank you. Father, we thank you for your mercy. Let your grace speak for your people. Let your spirit that carries your possibilities begin to manifest upon our life. Your word says your spirit will declare that which it has heard. I prophesy. When the Bible says the spirit of God will declare that which he has heard, it's talking about the blessing that God has bestowed for you. There is a blessing that God has spoken in your life. God has spoken concerning your business. God has spoken concerning your job. God has spoken concerning your career. It says the spirit will declare that which he have heard. There is a blessing for you. There is a blessing for you. I decree and I declare every blessing that God has spoken upon your life. Every prophetic word that has been declared upon your life that has not manifest. It says the spirit will declare. I stand to decree and declare by the influence of the spirit of God. I prophesy the Barosi Tapali Manoziata. I declare activation upon that blessing. I declare activation upon that blessing. Let that blessing be activated. Let that blessing be activated. In the name of Jesus, Libra Nozika Balanoza. Father, we thank you. Thank you. I declare anyone with the name Joseph, I speak, let the hand of God touch you. Anyone with the name Joseph, I declare, let the hand of God touch you. Paruzinonoskita Balanoza. I am praying for, is it Justina? Is it J-E-S-T-I? I don't know, it's Justina. The Lord, I-N-A. The Lord says your battles are over. There's, there's going to be no more tears. No more pain. All the arrows, all the accusation, it is coming to an end. It says it's a new season. It's a new dawn. I decree and I declare by the power of the Holy Ghost right now. Bandos Kalibaranosia. Ikatos Kabalananosa. Deborah, I speak upon your life. Is it Deborah Pius? I don't know. Every nightmare that the devil has been using to terrify you not to move forward, I prophesy. Let it be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Let it be destroyed in the name of Jesus. I decree and I declare by the power of the Holy Ghost. Kabaruzini manakosha. Ikam parosia nakatosia talosha. Juliet, I am seeing the realm of the spirit. God has to. God wants to establish you educationally. I see a traveling. I see traveling. I am seeing you. You are going to be traveling internationally. 
I see education is going to move you out of where you are. I don't know where you are, but I am seeing a star, bright, intelligent knowledge, but I am seeing attacks in your life. Juliet, I don't know where you are watching me from, if it's your first time. The Lord says there's, there's going to be restoration of knowledge. There is problem with your knowledge. There's problem with your mind. The devil has attacked your mind. I decree and I declare by the power of the Holy Ghost, everywhere they have held your knowledge, everywhere they have held wisdom. I am seeing God has blessed you with a lot of wisdom and knowledge, but the devil is trying to block your mind for you not to execute the mind of God upon your life. I decree and I declare that let it be destroyed. In the name of Jesus, Subre Nanoske Bananosha. I want people to share, begin to share. God bless you, all those that are joining. Spirit of the living God, we thank you. We thank you, Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, we thank you. Impasusiaka. Isaac as is it assume money? I want to pray for business. I am seeing business failure in your life. Isaac is I don't know where you are watching me from. I want to pray. There is there is a, there is a spirit that is causing you to go to bad luck. There is a spirit. Everything you do is start well, but it does not finish well. I want to pray for you. I see God is about to restore what you have lost. Isaac, is it Isaac? I don't know how to pronounce your last name. In the name of Jesus. I want people to share. I want people to share. Likura Zuzia Nama. Isaac Is it Osam? Osam? Is this Osam Mani? Osam Mani? I want to pray for you. God wants to restore what the devil has stolen in your life, sir. In the name of Jesus. Likambra Doskita Lamanosia. Patricia, please, I want you to flee. I see temptation. The devil is putting a lot of temptation. Be very careful not to be led astray. Be very careful for you not to be led astray. Please. Be very careful for you not to be led astray in the name of Jesus. Siprana no scavatosa. Shamba rosiana kofala doja. Father, we thank you. She can't see Kabbalah. Prophetess never smith. Please, I want you to be careful with your anger. Be careful with your anger. The devil wants to use your children to, to be very careful with your anger. I see you getting angry. Your children are doing like the, your children. At times they get you angry. It troubles your spirit. Please, you are anointed woman of God. So please, know how to control that. The devil wants to use anger. When you get angry, it troubles your spirit and it's no good for your children. When you get angry with your children, it's no good. Please, when they do something that you don't like, just hold yourself. Because I see the devil wants to use anger to trouble you. In the name of Jesus, thank you, Lord. This guy, I want to pray for you, please. I saw in the realm of the spirit, God says to pray for business. She burned a suziata. Isaac, is it as so many? Isaac, as so many, I'm praying for you right now, but Isaac, as so many, please. God wants to bless you. God wants to restore what the devil has stolen. But you need to have an intimate relationship with God. Have a close relationship with God. Let your relationship on God with God does not base on, on what people are saying or what people what you hear. Let your your closest moment be what matters. You are a lot of things, a lot of people have collected what belongs to you. But God wants to restore it. God wants to restore it. God wants to restore it. In the name of Jesus. Kim Prananos Katoza. She Katoza. This cornerstone, please. The Lord says, if you are in the right track, do not give up. The Lord says, you are in the right track, do not give up. 
the Lord says you are in the right track. You do not give up. It is like what I see is like your 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 what you what you put your what you are doing is like it's not producing the result that you want. What you are doing is not going according to how but God says you are in the right track. Something is coming your way. God says you are in the right track, sir. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Shima la kosiata palanoza. Emilia, please, I want to pray for you. I see a pain on your chest. Emilia, I see a pain on your chest. I see a pain on your chest. I want to pray for it, please. I want I see a pain on your chest. Please. And I one of the I am seeing you, you are sitting down for long. Emilia, you are sitting down for long, and that's why you are having pain on your chest. There is a pain that comes on your chest. It goes off and on. It goes off and on. Praskosiana no zipatola. E cam prasosiana no baratos yakatosa. Eliko brana no skivatosa. Julieta, is it Julita? Julita, is it Simons? Please, I want you to forget about your forget about your problems. You think too much about your present challenges. It is making you, when you go before God or when you want to do the things that belongs to God, devoting yourself to the word of God or praying, you just feel discouraged. And that is one of the mediums that the devil is using to make you dry spiritually. But I see God wants to restore your passion and your zeal. I see God, God wants to restore your passion and your zeal. And the Lord says, what you want, it is possible. Do not focus or do not depend on men's opinion on what you want. Many of you, one of this is one of the things, please. Let your expectation or let what you believe God does not base on what people are, people's experience. Please, do not expect that God will respond to you based on what he has done for others. Based on what... He has done for others. I think the man of God, Prophet Solomon, he wrote a book, and in this book, in this book, he was talking about the way God dealt with Moses. It was not the same way he dealt with uh, with Joshua. Moses parted the Red Sea. Joshua, Joshua did other things. The priests had to carry the, the tent of meeting for for the Jordan to be parted. So you have to understand that your blessing. It's prophetic. God, if God shows you how your blessing will come, it gives no glory to God. And God does not want to share his glory with anybody. Please let us have that respect. Let us have, let us have that mindset. Do not allow people's opinion to despise your belief that you have towards your God. Please. In the name of Jesus. I want people to share. I want people to share. Vanita Harris, listen to me. I am seeing in the realm of the spirit. It's like you are speaking to yourself, like you are not getting anywhere. It's like you, you, you talk about like you are not do you are not seeing the result. God says you are not where you were before. Stop complaining. Stop listening to that negative voice. Stop listening to that negative voice. There is a voice that prompts your spirit that you are not doing well. God says you are not in the same position. God says you are not in the same position. You are moving. You are getting somewhere. The Lord says do not be, do not dwell on the, on the motive of the devil because that is the voice of the devil. Because I see God wants to do something new in your life. There have been a circle that you have been rotating. God says you are about to come out. You are about to come out. Something big is coming your way. But I am seeing there are you have to God you have to be you have to engage more in prayer. You have to engage more in prayers because there are demons. There are demons that are trying to have access to your life. And I pray for you, I decree and I declare by the power of the Holy Ghost that every power from the pit of hell that is standing against God's assignment in your life, I prophesy, let that power be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Cabra nono skibata. Cornerstone, listen to me. The Lord says you are a kingdom financial. The Lord's cornerstone, God wants to bless you financially. But that, that finances that is coming, it is for the work of God. 
God wants to bless you financially. I saw, I saw an angel holding gold. I saw an angel holding gold, and this is financial breakthrough that is about to be released upon your life. You are a kingdom financial. God says there is going to be an outpouring of financial blessing upon your life. I don't know you. I've never spoken to you. The Lord said there is. You are a kingdom financial. You are one of the pillars. You are one of the pillars that God is raising because I see you have this zeal to give when it comes to the things of God. I see God is about to bless you massively financially, massively financially. And I am seeing also like you are traveling. I see you traveling to Nigeria. I see you traveling to Nigeria, Nigeria. After this meeting, after this traveling that you are traveling, you, I see there's going to be a traveling. You travel to Nigeria. After that traveling, you express an explosion upon your life. I prophesy, Marosita Palikato Bregetosia. The Lord said I should tell you that you are at the right place at the right time because God had been preparing you. There are some things that God had been dealing in your life. You had that issue with impatience. You were not patient enough for certain things to happen. God says you were in process. Now you are about to manifest. I decree and I declare the same way God is doing it for this man. May the hand of God touch you. Everywhere there is financial dryness upon your life, I prophesy. Let the hand of God touch you in the name of Jesus. Holy Ghost, we thank you. I want people to share. I want people to share in the name of Jesus. Libra na noskito skava na matu baliaka sura sush kama na nusa. This girl, this lady, please. Pamela Gold. I am seeing the realm of the spirit. I saw one man. I saw two men. I saw three men. I saw there is a power that is fighting men in your life. Pamela. I don't know where you are watching me. Please, I want you to just comment where you are watching me for you help me more. Pamela Gold, I am seeing a problem in your life. There is something in your life. There is a spirit that is fighting men in your life. Please, I want to pray for you. The Lord said I should pray for you. And there is something that I am seeing. The devil has blocked your opportunity. The devil has blocked your opportunity. It is like people, they, 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 they give you promise, they will help you, but they don't fulfill those promises. There is something that the devil wants to block this season. I want you from now to the month of May, please realign your life. One of the things that, one of the things that you are going through this thing, it is that you, 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 you are one leg in, one leg out. Sometimes you stand for Christ, sometimes you fall for God. Don't save God based on the response of the things that you see please everyone i want to pray for you pamela gold in the name of jesus shana rosia kosha joseph is it joyce joseph the lord says he has restored the broken pieces in your life the lord says he has restored the broken pieces in your life i saw a lot of battles but i see restoration coming there have been a lot of battles in your life. God is fixing everything. I decree and I declare by the power of the Holy Ghost that God will perfect that which he has started upon your life. In the name of Jesus. Pamela, please, I want you to comment. What I'm saying, is it true? I want, I want everyone that I'm prophesying, please, I want you to give me a comment. Your comment. That's what will help me also to go more deeper. Likampra Sociata Koja. Even I see your breakthrough is close. There are two things that I'm seeing. I'm seeing a breakthrough and I'm seeing something else as well. I pray that God will establish it in a season and in his time. In the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. Kadiatu, please. I want to pray against family separation. Kadiatu, I want to pray against, is it Kadiatu, whatever, I don't know how to pronounce the last name. I want to pray against family separation. I want to pray against family separation. There is a lot of family battles in your lives. In the name of Jesus. Please, if I give you a prophecy, I want you to respond, please. It's very important.
Some of you, there are some of you that, let me tell you something. If I, if I want to pray for you here and you refuse for me not to pray for you, or I call you, you are demanding private, private meeting. I, most of the time, some of you think that I come online when I do the, the morning session that we, I call a lot of people. You think I don't know what I'm doing. I don't have that. So many of you that are watching, I'm, I know what I'm doing. Why, why God allow me for me to be doing the meeting, the private, the one-on-one -on -one meeting physically. Some of you privately, your behavior are so polluted. Your behaviors are so polluted. Your behaviors. One of the things, if you connect to me based on other impression, the grace of God in my life will not benefit you. Everyone, you have to know this. If I call, if I you 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 you, you write me on WhatsApp, I call to pray for you, and your the way you are responding to me, know that if I, even I pray for you, nothing will happen. In the name of Jesus. Moses. Is it Moses? Luzela. Luzela Moses. Please. I am seen in the realm of the spirit that there is a lot of hatred around you. There is a lot of hatred around you. A lot of hatred. A lot of hatred and jealousy. Please. One of the things you have to do in your life. You have to, real, you have to, you have to cut some of your friends. You have to cut some of your friends. Luzera, is it Moses? Luzera Moses. A lot of things that are, a lot of bad things that have happened in your life is based on, is based on your friends. That's why everyone, you must know the people that you dwell with. Know the people that you associate with. Know the people that you associate with. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Who has a problem with property? Property. Who is watching? You have a problem with property. Property. Property, please. I'm seeing, uh, so I saw something property, say conflict for property. I want to pray for that person. If you are watching me, you have a problem with property. I saw a problem. I saw a problem. In the name of Jesus. Odelia, are you praying for your husband or are you praying for a... a I don't understand. I'm seeing a, I am seeing a husband figure spiritually. But physically, I'm seeing you alone. Odelia, are you praying for your husband? Odelia, I am seeing in the realm of the spirit. I see you are going to get married to someone. But I am not seeing you staying in your home country. I see you are going to be established out of your home country. Please. I see in the realm of the spirit, you get married, but you are not going to base in your home country. The Lord is going to establish you out of your country. Please, I am seeing a, there is somebody that is watching me. This is not really clear, but the Holy Spirit is whispering. There is someone you are having issues with property, property. I want to pray for you, please. Property. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Sham Bratoski Vananoza. Odelia, I pray for you. I pray that the hand of God will touch you. No one will come in your life to deceive you or take advantage of you. In the name of Jesus, I decree and I declare. In the name of Jesus, Father Toucher, as I'm praying for you, I feel that I see the hand of God touching your head. I see the hand of God touching you. Everyone that is having a pro someone says I have property issue and is becoming. Conflict, you see, conflict, whatever. I'm going to pray for you right now. 
Or daily I pray, may the hand of God touch you. May the Lord fulfill and grant your heart desire. In the name of Jesus, I decree and I declare by the power of the Holy Ghost. Liparosia koshata. Imbarasusia takuma loshia na kufranosa. Spirit of the living God, we thank you. Thank you, Spirit of God. I want people to share. Those of you that are still connecting, share. Thank you, Lord. Funny, the Lord says, worry not. He's taking care. Funny, I see. Funny, Clement. I am seeing at the moment you are worried about a situation. You are worried about a situation. There is a situation at hand that is giving you sleepless night. Fanny Clement, speak to me. I want to pray for you. There is a situation that is giving you sleepless night. Fanny Clement. Lim Nakosha. I see in the realms of the spirit. Someone say, it's me having a problem with my property. It's seven years. Okay, Moses, we pray God will release. God will release what belongs to you. Everything that the devil has been fighting, everything that belongs to you, I don't know who I'm seeing a lot of, but I saw property conflict. I am praying for everyone. I decree and I declare every property issue that is in your life. I don't know where you are watching me from, but as you are under the influence of my voice, I declare liberation. I declare freedom. I declare victory. I declare favor upon everything that concerns you. In the name of Jesus, I decree and I declare by the power of the Holy Ghost. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Fanny Clement, I am seeing there is something that is troubling you. It's giving you difficulties to sleep. It's giving you difficulties. I want to pray for you, please. There are four people that are watching. You have blood pressure. Four people. The Spirit of God just spoke to me. There are four of you that are watching. You have problem with your blood. Your blood has been going up. Your blood has been going up. I pray, let the Lord touch you. The Lord says, stay away from anger. Is it Eketi? Eketi, please, be prayerful. Be prayerful. Help is about to manifest. I don't know, Eketi. I see help is about to manifest. God is about to show up in your life. But be sensitive. If not so, you might miss it. Eketi, I see God is about to manifest. There is help that is coming. Please, I want you to be sensitive. In the name of Jesus. I want to pray for those that are sick. Let me pray for some sick people before we go. We have done prophecy now. Finally, I declare. Every issue that is giving you sleepless night. Let the hand of God turn your body to a testimony. In the name of Jesus. Hello. Amen. Hello, Daddy. Where are you watching me from? From Germany. Okay. How how can I help you, please? Uh, I want to help him because I have problem in my chair. Every time when I just breathe in, I feel like it's heavy, and every time. Sometimes come, sometimes going. Is this your first time watching me? Uh, no, this is not the first time. Okay. Do you be, now? Do you have the pain on your chest? Yes. No, okay. Now, just stand. Please. Just stand. Walk. Walk like. Just walk five steps around you. Now I'm sending an angel to touch you. Five. 
Okay. Angel the most I got touch her right now and set her free. By the count of three. One, two, three. Now. Yes, Lord. Father, your excessive heat, let it come upon her. Your glory. All of her in the name of Jesus. Jesus mighty name. I am seeing problem with headache. Headache. Sometimes. It's gone. Check yourself. Check your chest as well. Your chest. God bless you. God bless you. Okay, I want to pray for you. I'm seeing demons where you are. They are putting a lot of why are you afraid? I don't know, Sam. It's not easy, so I don't know why I'm afraid. Ah, it's not easy. Are you the one are you the one responsible for your life? I feel it. No, 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 sorry. Jesus is the response of my life. Get the bottle, bring a bottle of water. Ma, have you ever traveled to Nigeria before? Huh? Have you ever traveled to Nigeria no. before? No. Where are you from? Ghana. Okay. Time will tell. Okay. Bless the water by yourself. In the name of Jesus. Father, I declare the water blessed. In Jesus' name. Let your glory, let your spirit go before it in the name of Jesus. I declare it blessed. I consecrate it in Jesus' name. Amen. Use this water, go and sprinkle. Just sprinkle a little bit in your house. You can drink the rest, okay? God bless you. No Let's more pray. fear again. Yes, pray and read the word of God. Read the word of God, please. I want to pray for about three or four people, then we go. I'll preach the word now. So when I preach the word, I pray for some people. If anyone is sick, you can pray for them. Julita, I pray for, I declare restoration. Natanya, how are you doing? Natanya, I see God lifting you up. God says it's time for you to be lifted up. God says it is time for you to be lifted up. Natanya. God wants to lift you up. Please be, be sensitive. God wants to lift you up. Everyone, say, Lord, lift me up. Peter, God bless you. Becky. Benedict, Benedict, please. Somebody say, my whole body is weak. Angel, we pray for you. Let God strengthen you. In the name of Jesus. Somebody say, Lord, lift me up. Somebody say, lift me up. Benedict, please, there is an opportunity that is coming. I see a marital opportunity that is coming your way. Don't reject it. I don't know that they have proposed to you already, but I see there's going to be a marital proposal in your life. Benedict, listen to me. This marital proposal, when you get married, is going to destroy some foundational powers that is working in your lives. I don't know if you are still watching. There are some powers that are fighting people in your family, even your mother. I see like your mother had gone through a lot of abuse in the hands of men. I see your mother has gone through abuse 
in the hands of men. And that thing also, we have to, God wants to stop it. I'm seeing an operator opportunity that is coming your way. Please do not reject it. In the name of Jesus. Some of you are rejecting opportunities that people are looking for opportunities. I beg you, don't reject it. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, thank you. I have to very soon I'll go. I think I've been up to two hours. Someone says, your niece, yes. That's what I want. When someone I write prayer, I don't see it. You pray for the person. You also anointed. Anointing is not about the anointing might be different, but everyone is anointed. The day you receive Jesus, you are anointed. Jesus, we thank you. I'm seeing the name Gloria. Who is Gloria? Gloria. There's a name that I'm seeing, Gloria. 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 In the name of Jesus. Someone said today is what? Today was blessed. Is it blessed or what? Who is Gloria, please? Natoya, are you okay? Gloria, I want to pray for Gloria. Yes, lift up your husbands. Danilo, we pray for you, whosoever that you are believing God for healing. May the hand of God touch her. May the hand of God touch her. Martin, there is a problem in your life. Your life is stagnant. Martin. Martin, please, I want you to listen to me. Honor women. Martin, your help is good. A lot of your help is going to come from women. Listen to me very carefully, Martin. Your life is blocked, but a lot of your help, God will use women to be a blessing in your life. Tambra no mosquito paliacata. Martin, I don't know. It's like, I don't know. I see difficulties. There's difficulties in your life. But God wants to change things. You are praying, Martin, you are praying God for a financial relief. There is, it's like, I don't know that it's like a business. You have a business in mind to do. But there is no money. There is no money for you to start. I see God wants to open opportunities for you. Becky, I am seeing you doubting about something. Becky, what are you doubting about? So I can tell you, I want to tell you something. Becky, I see you doubting about something. Martin, please, honor women. Women are going to bless you. I see most of your blessing will come from women. <laughs> hey, Pascal Money will be paid now in the name of Jesus. Nancy, I am seeing you realigning your life to God. It will bring a lot of changes. Nancy, Nancy, I see you realigning your life to God. 
is going to bring a lot of changes in your life. I see you realigning your life to God. I see you realigning. Beck, you will speak divine approval. He said a lot of difficult. That's true, sir. I cry every day for financial help. God would do it. Now, did you tell me anything? God would be relaxed. I've told you, when it comes to women, the women are going to play a lot of role in your life for you to succeed. So just honor women in any way. Deborah, listen to me. You, you, you carry the glory of God, but you are unconscious of how it operates. God says, ask for, for, is it teaching or what, or leader? I don't know how to put this one. You, you are one of those people that you carry what it takes for you to produce your results. But you are on, it's like, you, when you have encounter, it, it makes now God does not reveal himself. Sometimes you have some, some dreams. Stop putting limitation on what God wants to do in your life. And cast out fear. Sometimes the things that you are calling demonic, is the hand of God. Why they, don't you know that everyone that is watching, if you pray, there are there is an amount of period of time when you spend in prayer, the atmosphere change. Not even amount, sincerity of heart. You can, if you pray sincerely with your heart pure, two minutes, God will come. And when God comes, the atmosphere must change. You are not those people that you are afraid. Stop being afraid, Deborah. God, you can't, you, you are spiritually tuned, but you are not spiritually connected. If you understand what I said, you are spiritually tuned, but you are not connected. So you have access to it, but you are not connected to it. So make use of that present. Because the presence, or I see the presence of God with you, but you don't make use of the access. Please, be very, very careful. Make use of the presence that God has provided for you. In the name of Jesus, you carry the glory of God. You move with angels and you, you are afraid. Stop being afraid. God is with you. Not everybody, there are a lot of pastors even that they, they what you carry, they don't have. I see the glory of God all over you. Stop being afraid. There are, ask God, just ask him to teach you how to, how to identify his present. Deborah. I'm not meaning, it's not, I mean the Deborah, FG Deborah. I'm not talking about the other Deborah. If you two, you're having that, but the main person that I'm talking, I'm talking about FG Deborah. If you're having that experience, no problem. But I am seeing this in this lady also as well. Stop. Don't be afraid. When you pray, God comes down. So why are you afraid when God comes down? If you also are having those experiences, pray, ask God to teach you. Some of you just answer. When a man of God gives you a prophecy that is not true, tell a man of God that is not true. You just answer, yes, 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 yes. Ah, these people, some of you are... Ah... You can, in the name of Jesus, let me pray for I want to pray for those that are sick before we go. I'm, I'm done. Tomorrow we'll continue. Tomorrow I'll be talking. About Some of you say, use me, Lord. Hello. Hi. Hello. <laughs> oh, How are you so doing? <laughs> I'm so fine. I'm Where are you fine. watching me from? I'm watching from Germany. Oh my God. Where, where are you from? Please. Where are you from? I'm from Cameroon. How long have you been watching me? <laughs> I've been watching you since the beginning of this year. Sometime. Yeah, at the beginning of this year. Sometime. So why why do you watch me? Tell me. I like to ask people why they watch me because it gives oh my me God. Oh my God, the first time I, 
Twitter on your live video. I was scrolling my my phone and then I happened to call on you. From the first day I watched your message, I was really touched spiritually. And I had some spiritual move that was unusual. <laughs> uh, tell us, I want, I want to experience that. Uh, your testimony, <laughs> will, it will make me to seek God more. So I want to know, really? what, what happened? I think this is my first time calling you. Uh. Yeah, it's the first time. <laughs> I've been waiting. Tell me, what day. happened? How did you feel? Uh, I, since I started watching you, I have some, some kind of like ghost pimples when I, I listen to your message. I have some emotional touch when I listen to your message. You know, I'm seeing, let me tell you something. Mm -hmm. There is a project, I am seeing, there's a business project that's going to bring a lot of money. Amen. And God will not give you the, the one of the things about you is that your heart, you don't, you don't look about yourself. You think about others. That's why I tell people responsibility brings wealth. I want to pray for you. The hand of God will touch you now. Amen. Father, right now, a touch. As you touch him, let every yoke be broken. Amen. By the count of three. One, two, three. Now, Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Touch in the name of Jesus. Your glory all over him, from his head to his feet. In the name of Jesus, I decree and I declare, in Jesus' mighty name, Amen. read Psalms 20, okay? Psalm and I see, I see, there's going to be peace everywhere. Peace. Amen. Peace. The peace of God is coming everywhere. Amen. I receive it in the name of Jesus. I'm just confused that I even put up the light. <laughs> oh, thank you. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. There is some there is a change coming in your life, sir. Amen. There is a change. Amen. Do not be afraid to do anything now. God, God anything you want to do, you will prosper. Amen. Amen. God. The hand of God is upon you. Thank you. As I'm praying for you right now, there is I'm seeing your legs are shaking. The, your legs are shaking. Your legs are shaking. That is a sign for speed. God, the Holy Spirit is making you to know that He's with you. You are Amen. not by yourself. Now is God moving before you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I am seeing there's a land that you are going to buy. There's a land that you are going to buy. That it, that I bought one recently. Ah, okay. I see that land is going to generate resources. Amen. Don't be afraid. Did you tell? I'm seeing a land. So this land is going to. You see the glory of God. Amen. Your expectation towards the land or towards what you invest there. You will see the result. I Amen. decree and I declare that yes. God will fulfill that which He has spoken in the name of Jesus. I stretch my hand towards you. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen. 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 Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Are you married? I'm separated. I told you that peace. God will give you peace. God will give you peace. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. There's going to be a touch. Lord Jesus. Mercy, Lord. Thank you.
I don't know. I'm seeing something like four. What's wrong with you? Are you okay? I'm all right. I'm all right. What is shaking you like that? <laughs> See, people, I'm just talking to somebody and the anointing of God is shaking the person. This is why you say that you cannot pick this thing. If you have it, you have it. If you don't have it, you don't have it. I see four. Why am I seeing the number four? Four, 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 four. I can't tell. Four. How many children do you have at the present, at the present moment? I have two kids. There is, I'm seeing there's going to be one more. Thank you, Lord. There's going to be settlement. I see peace. Peace. This, let me tell you something. I don't know that you are in a relationship, but I see women, they are going, there are a lot of women that are going to come on. You will see a lot of women that will come your way, but do not go for, spla for flashy. Don't go and get uh, into fire again. Go for character, please. Character. Amen. Ma, sir, this student, how many children do you want to have again? Two will be okay. Uh, okay. Let it be so for you in the name of Jesus. I'm seeing a number four on your head. That's what I'm asking. I don't know. Amen. In the name of Jesus. May God grant your heart. Read Psalms 20, okay? Why are you shaking? Why are you just feeling somehow? What is happening with you? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I just feel like... See a big man. I'm just talking to the guy and the guy is just... He's just... The leg, the anointing, the power of God is shaking him. God bless you. I declare, may the Lord do it according to his purpose and according to his voice that has been spoken upon your life. I decree and I declare by the power of the Holy Ghost, Rano Sato Peliaka. Do not, listen to me, do not dwell on the past. The, you, as you are moving forward now, I see the past things will try to come, but move forward, move forward. Amen. Don't, for, don't, don't, you have already, you have already separated yourself. It is just like the children of Israel, they left Egypt, but their minds were in Egypt. So as you have crossed this stage, begin to move forward. Something new is coming your way. I declare Amen. the blessings of God in your life. I declare, I am seeing the end of this month. There's going to be a breakthrough. The end of this month. Right now, the hand of angel of God will confirm it right now. Father, touch him. Now. Holy Ghost, Jesus. In the name of Jesus. See how God is confirming His word in Jesus' name. Amen. It is done. Amen. This guy, let me leave you later. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. So that's how God confirms His word. Libro Sana Makopa. You people now have to go. We started a video. I think how long we have been? We have been for two hours. Tomorrow. I'm going to be giving you fundamental principles for you to be used by God. Tomorrow I'll be talking about, many of you have been crying, Lord, use me, Lord, use me. I'll be talking about fundamental principles for you to be approved by God to be used. So join me tomorrow. I will come and we'll, we'll, we'll talk about that. Today, I wanted you to understand that you, we have been fasting some of us, we had a wrong is it illusion, a wrong mentality. God cannot lead you if you, you don't have a relationship with the Spirit as well. You, some of us, we are, since we were born or since we were led to Christ, we only focus on God and we ignore His Spirit. When you are such a person without having that mindset, knowing that your relationship is effective with God, if there is partnership with the Spirit. Jesus says, I and the Father are one. So Jesus was only speaking through the Spirit what the Father declared or what the Father has spoken. So with many of us, we this is what this is knowledge. When we, when we are full of the knowledge of God, everywhere we appear, we will have resort 
to our present challenges. Many people, even my, I myself, before, I was doing the same thing, but we come to the knowledge of God. God brings revelation for, for change because there are some things that we have seen that in our life is not good for us. It's ignorance or it's lack of knowledge that keeps us where we are. We have a lot of Christians to this day of today. They, they go to church, but they don't know the Spirit of God. You can be in the presence of God and you don't identify God because of ignorance that you are unable to identify or, or you are unable to predict the presence of God. You must know how God talks to you. You can never, God cannot lead you if you don't have a relationship with the Spirit. So I've told you that you see that the activities on or the activity of God on earth is being legalized by the Spirit of God. I talked about, I don't know how many things I talked about. Let me just give you a conclusion as I go. So I was telling you that it is the Spirit of God that legalized the activities of God on earth. And you see it. God spoke to Moses and Aaron in Exodus chapter 8, verse 6. And in the book of John 16, it says, The Spirit of truth will declare to you what he has heard. What he has heard is the blessings of God. The blessings of God, everyone is blessed. But not everyone walks in the blessing because of what? It is the Spirit that manufactures the blessings that have been placed in your life. Okay. The second thing I said, I said, it is the Spirit of God that is responsible for activation of the blessing. When we talk about activation, we talk about the manifestation, the result that you produce. If the Spirit of God is not there, you can't see anything. You can't see anything. I gave you a scripture, Luke chapter 3, verse 22, verse 22 to 23. And I said, the same, I, think I said again about, it is the Spirit of God that reveals the mind of God. You can never know the mind of God if the Spirit is not in partnership. How do you come prophesy? Someone said, add the volume. I don't know, the volume is enough. I don't know what is, I don't know what's happening, the volume is enough. So, you can prophesy that's why if you read the Bible in the book of Revelation 19, verse 20, it says the testimony of Jesus is the spirit of prophecy. If you cannot prophesy in your life, it means that you are not a child of God because as a child of God, to know the mind of God, you must be able to have a, a connection with the spirit of God. Many of us Christians, we have been doing this. I pray that God will have mercy and as God has revealed it to us, he's going to strengthen us in that area in our life. If we have been ignorant or if we have been ignoring the spirit of God, God will grant us mercy and grace. And one of the things I said again, I said that it is the Spirit of God that declares you a child of God. It is, it is not what you confess that makes you to be justified with God. It is what the Spirit of God says to him. God listens to his Spirit. It is my, I listen to what my Spirit tells me. It is my, my being, who I am, it is through my Spirit. So God will listen to his spirit because it is his spirit makes him who he is. When you look at the Bible, the book of Genesis, it was when God spoke that the spirit was, the spirit started doing creativity. The Bible says the spirit was roving across the face of the earth. So you must understand that God can speak, but without his spirit, nothing will happen. So that's why a lot of us will receive prophecy and nothing, nothing happens. So the other one I, I talk about, without the Spirit of God, God cannot lead you. So we are fasting. We are the team of the fast is, Lord, lead me. Many of you, even since we started fasting, you have been making wrong decisions because of what? You ignore the Spirit. You focus on God and you ignore the Spirit. And you cannot say you, you are having a true relationship with God and you, you dishonor the Spirit of God. Anyone, listen to me, if, I, if you have a relationship with your wife, you must be able to predict or to know your mind's wife. Intimacy is about oneness. You can't say that you, are, you have a relationship with God and you dishonor the Spirit of God. So, without the Spirit of God, we can't be led by God. And I told you that our prayers are being enforced by the Spirit. If you are not led by God, God cannot empower you. The Spirit of God cannot empower your prayers. And if God does not, if His Spirit does not empower your prayers, you can't ever see. You can't see results. 
So I pray that with the sermon that God has brought, or with the message that God has brought in our knowledge, we'll be able to, to walk and for us to be led by him. When God leads you, you can never make error. When God leads you, you can never see shame. When God leads you, it is always, he says, I love your, your teaching because it makes me read the Bible. God bless you for that. We bless God. So when God leads us, we always come out victorious. David says, my, my victory and honor comes from the Lord. It was because God led him all his battles that he fought. He, he won. So may the Lord bless everyone. May the Lord keep you. See you tomorrow. Tomorrow I'm going to be giving you fundamental prayer. The, the theme of the sermon is going to be, Lord, use me. You have been praying. But for God to use you, then you must know there are things that must be more, there are things that must be fulfilled before God can use you. So tomorrow, see me. I don't know. Is it, I don't give you time because I only come online when God leads me. If like today, I came because I was prompted by the Spirit of God to come. My programs, everyone, my programs. I don't put time because if I put time, it means that I'm the one doing it. But it is God doing it. That's why I follow God's I follow God's own time. That the Bible says, those that are led by the Spirit are called the sons of God. If you are a child of God, you don't do things in your time, but you do things according to God's time. My program, please, every one of you, that's why I will urge you, follow my page. Anytime I come online, you see me. But on me putting time of like, the, the guy that, the other guy that we, it's just that he has other things that he's doing and he knew that that time would be suitable for him and he had prayed. But on my own personal programs, I don't put time because I am somebody that I can sit right now, God asks me to do something else. Many of you have noticed that sometimes I can just see something happen. And I, the video, I'll just apologize, say that something like that, I have to attend to something because we are led by the Spirit of God and we have to do what God wants. So I pray that tomorrow, as we are going to, so many of you have been praying, Lord, use me, use me. I want you to connect tomorrow. I believe God will use you. I believe God will touch you. I believe God has answered that prayer. Tomorrow, see me same time, or just during these hours that I came online today, I believe that God will lead me to come the same hour. God bless everyone. God bless you. God bless you. Have a blessed evening. Have a blessed day. Those of you that are watching America, I pray may the Lord cause you to see favor. Those of you that are watching in Asia, I pray may the hand of God protect you. I pray for those that are in Africa. I pray for everyone that is connected to this page. I pray may the hand of God touch you. May the Lord preserve you. May the Lord cause his face to shine upon you. I pray that this season, the Spirit of God will reveal himself mightily. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless